Hello, uh, in this video today, I would like to show you how to do the configuration in the Visual Studio to publish the source code into a destination folder where we are hosting the in IS server to running the website. Okay, so basically, when you are working in a .NET project by using the Visual Studio, so when you finish the coding, you will using the Visual Studio and run it over the Visual Studio for uh, for viewing the website and also for debugging. And basically, we should hosting it over the IS server. And when you are using the IS server for hosting, you are able to point the, 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 the destination directly to the, the, uh, the, the source code folder of Visual Studio. But today, in this video, I told you that way. Instead of pointing the IIS server into the um, solution folder of this project directly, so I will point it to another folder. So when the user finishes the coding in the Visual Studio, so I will use using the publish feature of the Visual Studio to build the shortcode, and after that we publish the that build into the into the folder. So it did a for example, when you deliver the shortcode to the client, so it did a deliver the, the shortcode solution to them, you, you don't need to deliver the public folder for the client. Uh, the public folder, it will, it will be contain something like the DOL file and some image, some style sheet and uh, another the thing. It is necessary for running your website. Okay. So let's follow my video today to do it. Firstly, I will open the Visual Studio. So in order, in order to publish the, the, the shortcode into the destination folder, we have to run in the Visual Studio in the animation. Okay, you click on the Visual Studio here and select the Run at Animator. And now I will go ahead to create a new website project here. I select the file new project. And I will select the web and ASP.NET web application. And I will select another folder here which contains the short code. I have a text folder here. Okay, so I will name the Solution for this one is the testing public feature. Okay. Enter. And I will select a template here that is the MVC by default. And I will click OK button to create the project. It will, need, it will need to take a while to do the to create the project for some of the necessary file and library. Okay, we need close this one. Here you can see we have a solution has been created for the MVC solution here. We have some of the content controller and model folder here. Okay, so by default when you are working in the uh, .NET project by using the Visual Studio. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you have just finished the coding for any feature here. So you, you always go to click on the, the running button here to run the website. Okay, so I will do it for now. It will, it will automatically create an instance of the uh, IS Express on the Windows PC. And after that, it will execute. Uh, it will run your website on the browser. Okay. I will open another tab. Okay. So here you can see this one is the default uh, default template of the MVC. We have the on the top, we have the home, about menu, contact menu here. We contain some of the uh, static information on this 
on on, on three bed here. Okay, we have some hyperlink on the home page when you hover on this here. It will direct to the ASP.NET website or the go.microsoft.com website too. Okay, cool. It is running. So now instead of running it here, we should have some the uh, configuration to run it over the IS server. Okay, so let's open the let open the Internet Information Services Manager here. Okay, so you can open it by uh, window R uh, in INET M M Z R and click on OK button here. Cool. Expand this one, and now I will go ahead to create a new site here. I will call it either. Okay, let me think a visual publish publish okay visual publish dot local okay so now here I will open the folder I have okay I delete this one and I create a new folder I will call it either dot net repo okay cool copy this part and now I will put it into the physical part here and the hot name I will copy the same sign name here okay cool and click on ok button and after that if you try to run it on the job browser here so it will display the error message okay let's see it first running running it not work for now the site cannot be erected. Okay, it will take too long time to get the red point from the server. So meaning here, we are still not able to use the VS public dot local domain on the local PC. So here, so now you have to open the hot file. Okay, so I will open this one. You go to the window system window system. Three, two. Driver, etc. And hot. You right click on this one and open it in the notepad. Okay, so here. For now, you can see here I have a lot of the website running on my local PC already. And now I will copy it here. Okay, delete this one. And I have to copy. Okay, I will edit this one. Advanced. And I will copy the name. Put it here. Okay, save it. So now I will come back to this one and try to restart the. I server. I will open the website here and try to refresh it and see what happened. Okay, so you can see here for now the domain vs publish dot local has been uh, running successfully uh, because. Currently, we don't have anything in that in the destination folder of, of this of this domain. So when we are running it on the browser, it will display the, uh, the error message like this. Okay. So now I will come back to the Visual Studio here and do some of the configuration for this project. And after that, I will publish this project into the destination folder. 
and I will call it is a .NET repo here. Okay. I will. Okay, so you select into the web project. Don't select the solution, the web project. And you right click on this one. And you, you can see here we have a button called Publish. I click on this one. Okay, so here we have the three options. Uh, we have a lot of options here. Okay, so we. I will go ahead to select the IIS, FTP, or etc. Uh, be because for now we are running the website on, we are going to run run the website on the IS server. So I have to select the IIS, IIS and FTP option here. We are able to deploy the, 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 the uh, publish the source code directly to the uh, Microsoft Azure application, application, application services or something like that so now but in this video we will working with the IS server so we have to select this one and I click on a publish button here okay so on this pop-up we have some information for the connection string and the setting so we have to provide some information here for this one in order to do the publish it to the correct destination path okay so the server here we are able to, we call it in local hot the sign name you can enter any sign name any name so here I will enter the name it is VS public dot local and for the destination URL here we have to provide this URL okay so after that when you finish entering the data for this custom profile here okay so we have to back to on the top top down here the public method it should be the web deploy okay so now you click on validate connection button here yeah so we can see here after we do the validation or uh, the destination URL here it is correct so it should display the green check button uh, on the on, on the right hand of the validate connection button okay click on next button to go into the step for setting okay so here i will select i will keep the configuration by default we release here we have another option in debug and we expand the file publish option here you should click on exclude file from the application data folder if we have anything regarding to the database on the project so we I we can do the some configuration here but for now this one is uh, an example of the MVC website so we don't have any database uh, had been configured for this project so now you can see here we have no database file in the project okay click on save button to do to save the configuration okay cool so after you save this one here it will automatically publish for the first time yeah after finish it will open the website to display the content if we have no issue so with the website will be loops the same thing as we are running over the visual studio okay cool you can see here it seems for now it is running good we have a home page about and contact okay so it's running the same thing as we see in the in the uh, some uh, some minute ago when we are running the code over the Visual Studio okay cool let's open the folder and see the short code okay don't need repo here and it just publish something for the bin folder we contain some the DOL and we have content it is a style sheet file phone 
to display the phone on the website script we contain some javascript here and the view there are some the CS HTML file here we, we will display the content view on absorb project and we have the application inside config file here web config global config file icon okay so now if we open the code in the visual studio let's see okay let's see and compare it okay you can see here we have a lot of things in the in the solution so now instead of deliver the whole code here we have a lot of things and it it should be heavy so now we just need to deliver the public short code here so it will be smaller than the solution and when quick, it will easy, uh, easier and quickly quicker for deliver to the client for that thing. Okay, cool. And now I will open this one, and I try to do the modification for the view. I will open the home page index. It should be index. Okay, I will enter something here. I have uh, the application name ASP.NET I will save this one ok so after you edit the view here you will refresh this one of course you didn't see any change here you have to publish it again publish custom profile and publish yeah so you can see here for now we have a new chain in the view on the home page okay cool so I think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to do the configuration in the Visual Studio to publish the shortcode from the Visual Studio into a destination folder. So instead of using the Visual Studio to run, uh, to, 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 to run it uh, for, for testing and debugging, so you are able to create another folder. And after that, you publish the shortcode. So the, the Visual Studio will help you to build the solution and publish some necessary file for the project to run. Okay. So I hope this video will have fun for you and do let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye. See you later in further video.